Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Luthier Quick Tips. In the last episode, I asked the question, can you actually build this CNC machine? And in this episode, I'd like to follow up by asking another question. Can you afford to build this CNC machine? Now, I know it sounds like I'm trying to talk you out of building a machine like this, which would be kind of crazy since I offer the assembly manual for this machine over on my eGuitar Plans website. However, I want to be honest with you. I don't want to sell you a set of plans only to have you take a look at it and say, I can't do this. Because this isn't necessarily an easy project to undertake. Now, it is pretty much cutting, you know, a little bit of cutting and drilling and bolting stuff together. It's not really uh, a complex project, but there are some complex concepts about how CNC machines work. And a lot of people who want to go down this path don't understand what is fully involved. And when they take the plunge into this technology, they find themselves in over their head. So for this episode, I thought I would talk about what it costs to build a machine like this. The true cost, not just the cost of the, the structure here, the, the CNC machine just by itself. I'm talking about everything that you need to use a CNC machine. That includes the machine, but it also includes the computer that you're gonna connect to it and then all the software that you need to run it. Because you can buy a, uh, a pretty nice turnkey CNC machine, have it shipped to your shop and then set it up, but then find out, oh, I need to have a computer to hook up to it. And then I need to have all this software to actually do it. And then I need to know how to use the software. And that's where things can start to fall apart. So I want to kind of give you an idea of what you can expect as far as the cost is concerned. So let me start out by giving you the total cost, and then I'll kind of break it down uh, in, in little bite-sized chunks. But total cost for the machine, the computer, the software, everything. For this particular machine, the one that I sell the assembly manual for on eGuitarPlans.com, is gonna cost you a grand total of between $4,500 and $6,000. Now, once you've spent that money and built the machine, you're good to go. There's nothing else you're gonna to need to throw in. So, let's talk about the specific individual costs. For the machine itself, the structure, and that includes lead screws, linear rails, the uh, stepper, motors, the stepper drivers, the power supply, the controller, all that stuff, wasteboard, everything, nuts and bolts and screws and, and, and everything is going to cost you $1,500 to $2,000. That cost can fluctuate depending on where in the world you're living and what kind of parts are available to you. Now, people ask me uh, all the time, do I offer a source list for all the parts for this machine? And as I've said before, I can't because that source list would change every single day. And to make matters even more complicated, what's available to me where I live isn't necessarily going to be what's available where you live. So it's impossible. However, there is a parts list in the assembly manual and you can copy the description of each part and search for it on the internet. Now, if you can't do that, if you struggle with trying to find that stuff, you can't build this. You shouldn't even attempt it. So before you even purchase the plans, think, are you capable of, of sourcing those kind of parts? And I would encourage you to go back and watch that video because I, uh, I gave a test that you can use to determine whether or not you can actually gather the components to build the machine. Okay, so 1500 to 2000 for the machine. For the computer, you're gonna need a fairly robust computer, one that can run uh, complex 3D programs and as well as um, full-featured CAM programs. Now, what am I talking about? Well, that's the software side of it, and I'll get to that in a minute. But typically, what you're looking at spending is going, a computer that can actually do all that, it's going to cost you $1,500 to $2,000. You might be able to go a little bit cheaper, 
Uh, some of you may end, end up spending more, but that's about what you're gonna look at spending. And with this machine, you can use either a Windows machine or a Macintosh. Either one is gonna work for you. But you know, if you've priced um, like a Windows laptop or a uh, Macintosh laptop that has a pretty decent processor, uh, plenty of RAM and a decent graphics card, one which can handle 3D rendering programs, you're looking at $1,500 to $2,000. Uh, as far as the software is concerned, you're going to need, in all likelihood, a 3D CAD program. CAD stands for Computer Aided Design. And with a 3D CAD program, you can create the parts that you're going to cut on your CNC machine. The body, the neck, the fretboard, all those components. And once you've created that 3D uh, file, you're going to have to apply tool paths and then from that, you have to create G-code, and that requires a CAM program. Now, in some instances, there are 3D design programs which also have um, CAM modules built in. Uh, one that's uh, really popular and, and very common is Fusion 360. So uh, when you look at three, Fusion 360, you can get a free version for if you're a hobbyist, or for using it for personal use and don't plan to sell whatever it is you're making with your CNC machine. However, if you're going to be requiring its full capabilities, you do have to pay for it. So uh, that's where the cost of the software comes in. Now, okay, so that's, that's the CAD side of it and the CAM side of it. You're also going to need a software program that operates the CNC. Now, the most common and you've probably heard it mentioned many times before, is Mach 3. And Mach 3 has been around for a lot of years. It's very popular, and it's also getting very old. And for that reason, Mach 4 is starting to take over and replace Mach 3. Now, the problem is those programs are fairly expensive. They're also incredibly complicated. The good news is, with my machine, I spec it to run an Arduino Uno controller flashed with Gerbil 1.1. Gerbil 1.1 is the CNC operating software, and it's free, and it works just great. I have no issues with it whatsoever. The cool thing is, is you can build your machine and use Gerbil, and then later on, if you decide you need something more, which if all you're doing is building guitars, I doubt you ever will, you can always replace the controller and go with Mach 3 or Mach 4. So that's something you can do down the road. But to start out with, uh, it is free. So the total cost of your software, I would plan on budgeting $1,500 to $2,000. So as you can see, $1,500 to $2,000 for the machine, $1,500 to $2,000 for the computer, and $1,500 to $2,000 for your software. So the end result is a total cost of between $4,500 and $6,000. And you can probably possibly do it for less than that. It may end up costing you more than that depending on what parts you can get and uh, what software you decide you want to use. So that's just kind of a, a ballpark figure, but it's pretty close. So. I hope that answers the question as to whether or not you can afford to build a machine like this. And if you found this video to be useful, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like watching videos on building guitars, click the subscribe button. And um, if you want to show some support for what I do on this channel, you know, you want to give me a tip. Uh, head over to eGuitarPlans.com, purchase a plan for a guitar or one of the many different tools that I use. Even if you don't build them, it's your way of giving me a tip that helps support this channel and what I do. All right, well, that's it for this episode. I will see you in the next episode. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.